in our Western society, in the US, for example, we've decided to trade truth for property, money, power, control. Now, what does that mean? Well, in Upside, we talk a lot about our hyper-masculine and hyper-feminine and divine masculine, divine feminine. So let's break that down a little bit. Let's just look at what is our this hyper-shadow masculine I keep talking about and what is divine masculine. Well, divine masculine could really be exemplified by Henry David Thoreau. Rather than love or money or fame, give me truth. And sages and monks and priests of all across history have always gone to solitude to seek the truth. And the truth they find in here. And it's hard. It's a lot of work. It takes lifetimes, sometimes many lifetimes, to come to it. But our Western society says that's a lot of work. Too much work. Fuck it. Show me the money. Because with power and with property, I can control my world and I can reduce the level of uncertainty and I can make that whole truth thing so much easier. And if you research the things that are in the mainstream media that our politicians are saying right now, there's not a whole lot of truth and fact involved in those. It's really a question of who can yell it the loudest and repeat it enough that it becomes accepted. Alternative facts. And this has founded a lot of very oppressive institutions, like our military industrial complex, institutionalized racism and poverty, environmental exploitation, all come from this mentality that I have to take and I have to own and I have to dominate and I have to crush the competition and make a killing. And it's exploitive and it's extremely oppressive to women and people of color, of anybody else that we can, we can separate and see as other. This is our hyper-masculine saying that there are others and I can dominate them and it doesn't hurt me or bother me to dominate them because they are not me. They're not part of my tribe, of my people. Divine masculine actually respects divine feminine to keep us in balance, to keep us accountable because the divine feminine knows very clearly through compassion, through nurturing that we are all in this together and anything that hurts you hurts me. So we need that divine feminine leadership to balance us back into inspiring us to our divine masculine essence. Then we can really <laughs> take back this world and this society. So this is the upside. Like, subscribe, share.